Alexandria Zoo where it all began. You remember that? Yes. Remember, uh, listen, last time we came here, it was just me and you. I was pregnant with Katie. We was on the train. Y'all, the fish, they sold out of the fish food. They can only eat so much or they're going to end up like me. <laughs> this is the story of Gabrielle Prinell, a 27-year-old woman who had seemingly built a loving family with her husband, Danny Prinell Jr., the senior pastor of Bright Morning Star Missionary Baptist Church in Pineville, Louisiana. Their picture-perfect life on social media hit a dark reality, as on June 21, 2023, tragedy struck, shattering the lives of a mother and her three innocent young children. Join us as we delve into the heart-wrenching events unfolding that fateful afternoon. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Macomb, Mississippi. Macomb is a small city located in the southern part of the state of Mississippi. It is known for its rich history, with roots dating back to the early 19th century and a vibrant cultural scene. Gabrielle Prinell, a resident of Macomb, is a 27-year-old woman who worked as a homemaker and caregiver for her three children. She was the wife of Danny Prinell Jr., the 25-year-old senior pastor of Bright Morning Star Missionary Baptist Church in Pineville, Louisiana. Gabrielle was described as a caring and dedicated mother who always put her children's well-being first. Her personality was marked by resilience and strength, as she endured a history of violence and abuse at the hands of her husband. Gabrielle Prinell had a significant history with Danny Prinell Jr., the 25-year-old senior pastor of Bright Morning Star Missionary Baptist Church in Pineville, Louisiana. If you, if you wait on him, if you, if you wait on him, I promise you he's coming. Uh, if you wait on him, I promise you he won't make sense. Uh, see, you still tripping because you lost your job. You still tripping and disappointed and mad because y'all broke up and you don't understand it. And you, you, you still driving by his house checking to see if there's another car there. Yeah. You still hurt. You still in your feelings. You still all on Facebook, telling your mama, telling your daddy, telling everybody how he hurt you. Oh, you still uh, see things for where they are now. But tell somebody, just hang on a little while uh, and live a little bit longer uh, and it's going to all make sense. Uh, oh, when he can expose, uh, it's going to all make sense why God didn't want you with him. Their journey together started as a romantic relationship, and they were involved for several years before eventually tying the knot. Their love story began before Danny assumed the role of a pastor when he was serving as a deputy with the Rapides Parish Sheriff's Office. As their bond grew, they navigated through life's challenges and joys, supporting each other in their career paths and personal endeavors. As Danny transitioned from a law enforcement officer to a spiritual leader, Gabrielle remained a pillar of strength and encouragement by his side. Their shared experiences and deep-rooted connection likely played a crucial role in shaping Danny's spiritual journey and his role as a pastor. Together, they embarked on a new chapter of their lives as husband and wife, forging a partnership built on love, trust, and a shared commitment to their faith. The congregation of Bright Morning Star Missionary Baptist Church witnessed their devotion to each other and the congregation, inspiring others with their story of faith and love. However, behind closed doors, their relationship was marred by violence and abuse. In 2016, Gabrielle filed a petition for protection from abuse against Danny in Rapides Parish. She bravely spoke out, alleging that she had been subjected to constant beatings and threats to her life. Neighbors and friends later revealed that they had witnessed arguments and heard loud fights between the couple. Some even reported Danny brandishing guns and making terrifying threats towards Gabrielle. Online, the couple portrayed an entirely different image. Alexandria is where it all began. You remember that? Yes. Remember, uh, let's see, last time we came here, it was just me and you. They sold out of the fish food. They can only eat so much or they're going to end up like me. <laughs> Their social media posts depicted a seemingly loving relationship, with smiles and affectionate gestures. However, we must remember that social media can often conceal the true reality of a person's life. Experts warn that abusive relationships can be complex and hidden, with abusers manipulating their public image to conceal their actions. Friends and family must be vigilant and supportive in such situations. On a seemingly ordinary day in Pineville, Louisiana, a shocking and disturbing crime took place, sending shockwaves through the community. 
Pastor Danny Purnell Jr., a respected figure in the local area and lead pastor at the Bright Morning Star Missionary Baptist Church, was involved in a tragic incident that left his wife, Gabrielle Purnell, wounded and fighting for her life. On that fateful day at the Hampton Inn Hotel in Macomb, Mississippi, the Purnell family, comprising Pastor Danny Purnell Jr., his wife, and their three children, had checked in for undisclosed reasons. However, tragedy struck at approximately 3.30 p.m. when a horrifying incident unfolded within the confines of their hotel room. According to reports Pastor Danny Purnell Jr. allegedly shot his wife, inflicting two gunshot wounds. The motive behind this tragic act remains unclear, shrouded in mystery. In the aftermath of this shocking act, he then attempted to end himself, intensifying the harrowing scene that unfolded before the innocent eyes of their three young children. Danny Purnell Jr. and his wife, Gabrielle, were rushed to the University of Mississippi Medical Center for emergency medical care. The children were taken into the custody of Child Protective Services while their parents fought for their lives. Danny survived his injuries while his wife remained in the hospital fighting for her life. We're learning new details from police in Mississippi about the charges that Danny Prenell Jr. is facing. He's the pastor of Bright Morning Star Missionary Baptist Church in Pineville, who's accused of shooting his wife and then himself at a Macomb hotel. Alex Hornchuk's in the studio with more. And Alex, these are some pretty big developments. Right, Brooke. Chief Juan Cloy with the Macomb Police told me today that 25-year-old Danny Prenell Jr. is facing a count each of aggravated domestic violence, disturbing a business, and disorderly conduct. Those charges stem from a shooting at a Macomb, Mississippi Hampton Inn Hotel on June 21st. Police say Prunell shot his wife and then himself while there with his children. We obtained the photo of the crime scene you see on your screen from our media partners at the Enterprise Journal. Now, Chief Cloy would not say why Prunell was not charged with attempted murder or other more serious charges and said the investigation is ongoing. We know Prunell survived his injuries, is in the custody at the Pike County Sheriff's Office, and his wife is still in the hospital in stable condition. The couple's children were placed in Child Protective Services custody after the shooting. We're also learning some new information about prior allegations of domestic violence against his wife through some documents we found in the Rapids Parish Courthouse. In 2016, his wife filed a petition for a protective order against Prunell and said that the petition detailed instances where Prunell was violent with her, saying, quote, I've been constantly getting beaten by my husband and I fear for the life of myself and my unborn child. She goes on to say that Prunell often pointed guns and threatened to kill her. We also learned that Prunell was also briefly employed by the Rapids Parish Sheriff's Office. RPSO told us today that Prunell was assigned to the Corrections Division in June of 2022 before he resigned in December that same year. The community was left in utter disbelief, struggling to comprehend the reasons behind the tragic incident that had shaken the foundations of their once peaceful town. In the aftermath of the incident, social media posts surfaced, giving insight into the couple's life. Danny Purnell Jr.'s Facebook page revealed that he was a former sheriff's deputy and he openly expressed his devotion to his family and faith. One of his posts on his wife's birthday depicted her as his queen and professed his love and admiration for her. However, he also hinted at possible inner struggles and the quest for self-improvement. He posted about losing his father to the prison system when he was around 10 years old and having to be raised by his grandmother. He posted about dealing with rejection from his peers and having marriage issues but overcoming them. The incident involving Pastor Danny Purnell Jr. and his family is part of a growing and disturbing trend of domestic shootings that have plagued the country for years. Data from a database compiled by multiple media organizations revealed that such tragedies occur almost every 3.5 weeks on average. The consequences are devastating, often resulting in multiple fatalities and deep emotional scars for survivors, especially the children who witness such violence. The close-knit community of Pineville, Louisiana, was left in shock and grief over the incident involving their esteemed pastor. Friends, church members, and neighbors were left grappling with how such a horrible crime could be committed by a man who was supposed to be a pillar of strength and faith in the community. As news outlets covered the incident, authorities launched an investigation to determine the motive behind the shooting. Information about the case's progress, interviews with witnesses, and court footage regarding any potential arrests and charges would be available in the ongoing legal proceedings. The shooting served as a sad reminder of the prevalence of domestic violence within society and the religious community. It brought the issue of domestic abuse to the forefront and sparked discussions about how such acts of violence can be prevented or addressed within faith communities. 
Pineville community and congregation members were left stunned and heartbroken by the events that unfolded. Many expressed their sympathy for Gabrielle Prenell and her children, praying for her recovery and healing their emotional wounds. As the investigation into the shooting continued, Danny Prenell Jr. was charged with aggravated domestic violence and disturbance of a business. The court case was pending, and authorities awaited Gabrielle's recovery to gather more details about the incident. The Gabrielle Prenell tragedy is a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of domestic violence and the importance of addressing mental health concerns within society. The incident raised questions about the role of faith in coping with personal struggles and the need for greater awareness and support systems for abuse victims. As the case of the Prenell family moved forward in the legal system, the entire community was deeply affected by the tragic events. The heartbreak and emotional toll on the Prenell family, particularly on the children who first-hand witnessed the horrifying incident, became a focal point of concern and empathy. The young minds were left traumatized and faced with the aftermath of the violence they experienced in their own home. The incident acted as a wake-up call for the community, leading to widespread discussions about identifying warning signs of domestic violence. People realized the urgent need for more proactive measures in assisting those in abusive situations. Public forums, awareness campaigns, and educational programs were initiated to sensitize people about the subtle indicators of domestic violence and ways to offer support to victims. The incident involving Pastor Danny Purnell Jr. and his wife, Gabby, is a tragic and senseless act of violence. It is disheartening to witness such domestic shootings, which seem to be rising recently. Whatever the reasons behind his actions, harming his wife in front of their children is deeply disturbing and will likely have long-lasting effects on their emotional well-being. This tragedy underscores the importance of seeking help and support when facing personal challenges to prevent such devastating outcomes. My thoughts and prayers go out to Gabby and her family during this difficult time. Let us hope for her recovery and that justice is served. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.